AES coverage sponsored by GoDaddy.com, the leader in domain names, web hosting services, new customers save 25% by using promo code CES25 at GoDaddy.com. CES coverage sponsored by Audible.com, where books come alive. Listen to a bestseller on your iPod or MP3 player. You can get a free trial over at audiblepodcast.com forward slash CES. CES coverage sponsored by Lexar Las Vegas. Get to the point. Rooms start at $40. See tpn.tv for Lexar advertisement, which is the gateway to savings. At uh, a new guest in the studio, I'm bringing on, and it didn't went in the circuit, I'm bringing in Stefan. Stefan, welcome to the Tech Podcast Network coverage here at CES 2011, and you're going to have to tell me the brand name. Is it Adrian? Iridian. Iridian, okay. That's right. So tell me what you've got here. Now, Jack, he's got some stuff on the table you may want to take okay. a look at. Yeah, well, we've got a revolutionary technology, and what we do is we make things highly liquid repellent. Okay. So it resists water, and it's a technology that doesn't alter the look or the feel of the product. Right. So you can't actually visually see it or touch it, yep. but it's so thin, it's a thousandth the thickness of a human hair. Okay. So what I have in front of me here is a paper tissue, yep. and this is just a normal paper tissue, so and not it, surprisingly. And, the, and the, actually the audience is watching that one right now. That's so, the one. Okay. So as the water comes into contact with it, it readily absorbs into it. Right. So nothing too outstanding there. Now if we apply the Iridian technology, which yep. is optimized for applying to electronic devices, like mobile phones, laptops, hearing aids, mm -hmm. in order to give the maximum protection to water getting in and damaging it, and also to prevent corrosion. If I apply that technology to that same bit of paper, when the water comes into contact with it, oh, well, look at that, it just cool. beads up. For those of you that are, you guys can see, right? Can you zoom in on this well, anymore? I can, as a matter of fact, I have the technology. There's it basically what we've got is we've got beads right on top. You can actually see it a little bit right there. You can actually see a, just a bead of water. And so as you oh. can see, it's completely repelled. Oh, that's actually the, the, yeah. And I can just pick it up and it rolls off. Now imagine that technology on your mobile phone. Very cool. You're out in the rain, you're texting away, yep. and the water's not going to get into the phone. It's not going to damage it. And also if you were to drop it into a, a puddle or into some water, it will also prevent the water damage. So how, obviously, this is dry. That was pretty impressive. <laughs> so now, what did, did you spray this? We have a process that typically is carried out in a small chamber, say, for instance, a, like a microwave oven. Right. But it happens at low pressure. Okay. So as we suck the air out, it allows the reactive material to rush into a product. So imagine, again, the mobile phone is the example. You're not just coating the outside but it's penetrating deep into the structure. So you're applying the coating technology to the PCB. Right. So it's even going on the board, the buttons, the mechanicals, all the stuff that when it gets water in there and it doesn't make contact, you, it's, this is impressive. So I, I almost guarantee you've had some significant interest by a number of vendors at this show. That's right. This show has been great for P2I. We've had a lot of traffic through the booth. We're over at 8960. So just wow. by Intel and Microsoft, and people are seeing this as the must-have technology for electronics because it's such a game-changer for improving the performance of mobile phones. So you say you do this, apply this on electronics now as a home process, I mean as an as a implant process, is there a way to use this as a, from a consumer standpoint? Can the consumers use this? Not yet. We don't have a retail business model to date, so we're right. working with all the top manufacturers. We put our equipment into their factories around the world, right. and we we can work closely with them to provide it onto the styles. Now, what we're finding at the show is loads of people are interested, they want it now, but That's right. we don't have it as a, a shop you can walk into off the high street That's and right. just apply it. But so the question, I guess, then is next is, how do I know when something I'm buying mm -hmm. would be embedded with the P2i, and I'm guessing the, okay, I'm gonna just try that again, but the P2i protectant. Well, the Iridian technology Iridian, yeah. could either be advertised by the manufacturers as saying, we have a, a, a way we've protected our smartphones or right. our mobile phones with yeah. the technology. Now, um, otherwise, we'll, you know, we obviously advertise who we're working with. Right. This is cool. 
Did you see how, did you see that? Yes, I watched that. It just bubbled up like that was a piece of plastic or something. Now, how does this compete with, there's obviously some competition in this space because I think companies like 3M and so forth mm -hmm. have some water repellent type products. And again, it's been right. years since I've looked yep. at any of that stuff. How does this compare to competitors in the marketplace? Yeah, well, that's a good question. The, the key differentiator for this technology is that we apply it to the end product. Right. So imagine today with the companies you've mentioned, they have solution technologies, spray or dip, that they can apply to components. But when the components go into the end product, you've got other components in there that aren't treated. But we demonstrated that the best way to get the maximum protection to the whole device is to apply the technology to the whole device. And we're the only company who can do that. This can go beyond the, the electronic realm too. This could go beyond a device that is, you know, would be susceptible to water. So what are some of the applications that's been considered for this? Well, P2I is in five key market sectors. So we've discussed electronics today, and we're also in lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So we apply this to footwear for the likes of Nike, Adidas, mm -hmm. I think you call them Adidas. Adidas, yeah. <laughs> Timberland, uh, K-Swiss, Scott, Hitech. Right. We've also applied it to military clothing, which goes back to the roots of the company, in that this was invented to protect soldiers from chemical attack. So this is why it's giving the very best level of protection. And it's unique, it's patented, and this provides us with our, with our differentiation. Then in addition to that, we apply it to filtration and energy products, and also to military and institutional. So now you're basically, now you're pushing into the electronics market and trying to make your foothold out here as well. Absolutely, yes. And this is a great way to, to start that off at CES. You guys can, uh, Jack, I've got their site queued up, uh, their corporate site at p2ilabs.com. And uh, obviously, it, the story is being told right there on the front page. And you're going to be able to, to get an idea. And, you know, right there, that, that exact picture was what yeah. we had right on top of this piece of paper, I mean, on this tissue right here. So, you know, that's, that's the funny thing, folks, is the, we were just using, oh, we're back on, bring me back on the. Here we go. We were just using, it, it looks like just regular Kleenex or. That's exactly what it is, yeah. Yeah, just regular Kleenex or some form of a tissue. And you know how thin that is. That, you know, Kleenex, you put a drop of water on it. Well, just, you know, yeah, just look at this one. In. This one here is like, you know, it's completely saturated with just a couple of drops. And, and I'm going to try something here. <laughs> I'm wiping the table. Just don't blow your nose on it, yeah? <laughs> and, you know, I'm wiping the table, with, I'm wiping the table with this that's been saturated. Nothing. It may have picked up just a minute about a damnness, but not hardly anything. Magic. That is pretty cool. That is cool. It is really cool. So I can't imagine, you know, if a manufacturers don't get this, you know, luckily I have not gotten my devices wet. It but probably in the past won't help if I you have, throw that in a swimming pool. I'm sorry. <laughs> it, it may not help it. Now, you know, though, but here's, here's the funny thing. How many of us have washed a USB stick? I've, yeah. wa I've yeah. washed. Yeah. And, and sometimes they work, mm -hmm. sometimes they don't. I can almost, gar I can almost bet that if we, this was, have you tried this? Have you? S we haven't looked to put it on USB sticks as yet, no. Because I would almost bet that, because that's what gets left in pockets. Yes, yeah. When and you, and my, when wife has a, it. my wife has a rule. If, it's, if she don't check pockets, it goes in the laundry. <laughs> you know, and, if, 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 and usually there's money in there, so yep. she gets it out of the dryer. That's, you know, if, if she laughs, ha, 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 I got a tip, right? <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm worried about the electronics, so I would imagine on smaller devices with mm. this on there, too, that we typically leave in our pockets that get thrown in the laundry. I would almost bet with the level of protection I've seen here, and some of those devices are more resilient than others anyway, that it would probably add a significantly higher barrier protection barrier. Mm, now, does the product have a, a tendency to break down with any chemicals being applied to it, like if, uh, general soap and water? Have you tried that? We, we have, yes. I mean, certainly for the lifestyle products that right. we have, we've had to do laundry washes right. to demonstrate it's durable, it's stuck down to the, to the surface and there's right. no leachable. So you, you can wash things, you know, you right. still need to wash your yep, clothes. Yep, yep. It, it removes dirt because the dirt isn't ground in and Yep. strongly bound, yep. but it still stays on the surface. We've, we've formed this covalent attachment, so it's a strong permanent bond. That is just too cool. It is. And so we've talked about liquid repellency today, but this platform technology we have can be used to bring other chemistries to the surface. So we can make things anti antimicrobial, fire retardant. 
Interesting. You could have a raincoat and just look like you're wearing a normal suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because everything would just run off it. Yeah. Put this on the windshield of my car. <laughs> <laughs> it's not yeah. bug repellent, though. No. <laughs> That's interesting. Well, this sounds like a great product, so make sure you guys check them out at, at, uh, at p2ilabs.com. And, of course, to check out the Iridian brand. And uh, I'm hoping you guys pick up a whole bunch of manufacturers that go with this because it's just going to add a whole, it's going to extend life. Yeah. You know, the, the life of our company. And not only that, just from day-to-day -day humidity and mm -hmm. sweat and everything else, that stuff, have you, ever opened, have you ever opened up the inside of a mobile device and actually looked at yeah. it after about a year? It can be quite groovy, it's can't it? It's nasty, you know? So I would imagine that would even protect, over time, would help protect the component level, too. You're probably going to still have the grime on top, but at least yeah. it's not getting inside to the... That's what we find, because, you know, you don't need to protect the whole thing. Right. You need to protect where it's going to get damaged. That's right. Well, very good. Well, thank you so much for stopping and see us today. You're very welcome, and we'll see you next year. Outstanding, and I hope next year you've got a whole big list of manufacturers. Yeah, that we can talk about. Yeah, outstanding, and good luck in the deployment. Sounds like you guys have had a great show. Thank you. And I know it's short, but uh, have a good rest of the show. Thank you very much. <laughs> Take care. Thank you much, sir.